Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Andrea here. Just a quick disclaimer, this is an adult channel and all of the videos are for adults and in no way, shape or form made for or intended for children. Today we're going to do a colouring chat and we're going to colour in Deborah Miller's newer book, uh, Cupid Cuties, which arrived today. So, I love this book. You might have seen the flip through, I put it up last night, <laughs> or whenever. Um, and I've chosen a page, I knew what I was going to do. There was one, two pages I wanted to do straight away, and this is the one I've chosen. So it's a little Cupid girl in her bathtub. So we're going to be using markers because I love using the markers in the Deborah Muller books. They just, uh, it just works, they just work so well in here. So I'm using my touch, uh, touch new markers. This is the flesh one, it's 139. It's a little bit orange. But uh, I thought oh, that's all right. I usually I use Bailey Beige or Skin White if I want to be really pale. But she is in the bath, so she would have a red glow to her, probably. So, so what I want to say is, how are you all? Are you doing okay? We're not so bad here. Jennifer had a lovely birthday. Thank you to everybody who watched the blog and wished her a happy birthday. It's much appreciated. She had a fantastic day. Um, we had we had cake and crisps and lots of toys and games and played and we just had fun as a family, the three of us. We popped over to see Paul's mum because she lives on her own and it's her birthday as well. So we thought we'd pop over and see how she was doing, which was nice uh, and, and had some food with her. And yeah, we just had a nice, nice day. She had dinosaurs and clothes and books. What else did she have? Uh, she had a little camera, which she absolutely adores. Oh yeah, she had some amazing, she had an amazing day. So it's really, she, you know, it was really nice for her to get out there and have the fun she had so it was really nice it was a very very nice day so obviously the sad news in the UK is that uh, uh, Captain Sir Tom Moore passed away he was the 100 year old man who walked a hundred laps of his garden last year during lockdown first lockdown and raised around 40 million pounds for various NHS charities he had pneumonia and then caught COVID as well. So very, very sad day um, it was when it was announced. Very sad. Um, yeah. And he was 100, but, you know, he did so much. And for, it's, it's almost like COVID is pissing on you by saying, huh, yeah, he gave you hope and now I'm taking it away. But we'll never forget him. And I've said it before that in the years to come, when schools teach about the pandemic of 2020, 2021 uh, and how it affected the countries of the world and the UK and how people coped, they, they will bring him up. He will be mentioned. He will not be forgotten. And I think that's his true legacy, is that he will not be forgotten. Not ever. We'll always, we will always remember him. Always. And, and that's the most important thing, and that's the legacy I think his his family would want for him, to be honest. I, I think, you know, they've had a hard time of it lately with uh, some people not saying very nice things because in December he took a holiday to Barbados. This was before the travel lockdown, so it was, and it was arranged for him by, I can't remember who it was, he did say as a thank you for everything he'd done. And he'd always wanted to go to Barbados and he had one last beautiful holiday with his family and how anybody could begrudge him that, I don't know. I know people who have been complaining they're not getting their holidays or have been on holidays when it was advised not to. How dare they insult and troll a man who did so much and brought so much hope and joy to people when we needed it and inspired so many other people as well. So all I can say is, you know, shame on you for that. Shame on you. But anyway. Yes. 
So I've not been feeling brilliant the last few weeks. I don't like that colour. I've been feeling a bit down, especially in the last few days. It's been even worse. This one, is it? No. I'll find the colour I want in a minute. Oh, that one, I think. We'll try that one. Um, I think, I think, like everybody, it's it's getting to everybody now. These constant lockdowns. Um, but hey, um, and I got uh, ten um, the book uh, Fairy Touch of Magic the other day, and Paul said, "Oh, not another book." Um, so I didn't tell him how much it cost, but you know, I did. You know, when I, he, I told him how and uh, down I was feeling today, and this book arrived. This is on on Thursday, along with Kirby Rosanna's Fragile World. He didn't say a word, as if he said, "This is." something she needs at the moment so as long as she's got money to pay the bills and there's space to keep them all I don't care it is one of the things other than him and Jennifer that's keeping me going if I didn't have my colour in I think I'd just crack up I mean, I've got lovely got Paul and Jennifer and she was amazing today she sat there watching TV next to me or on the floor uh, and let me do some colouring in um Fairy Touch of Magic it is one of those uh, pictures I'm going to be taking my time on. So it might, you might not see it at the end of this month. You might do. It depends how quickly I can get it done. It might be a while because I don't want to ruin it and I want to take my time. But you never know. I might get it done. So I've decided that every Friday is going to be Finish It Friday for me. So I'm not going to film unless you want to see me finish something I've had on the go forever. Um then I'd have to film it on Thursday night for you but uh, I mean I'm going to start tomorrow and the idea is that I start finishing the whips I've got in process the progress that have been around for a while that for whatever reason I just haven't finished so I mean obviously the Johanna Battered calendar is one of those and I'll try and do a bit of that tomorrow but uh, the one I really want to focus on is the uh, Kirby Rosanna's one from Imagine Morphia it's been hanging around for absolutely ages oh I missed a bit of her skin there and I would like to get it finished so I can start one from another book. And I do want to do one in uh, World of Wonder. I want to do one in everything, but I've seen Proud Our World and I'm thinking, oh my God, this is an amazing book. And uh, I think I need to tackle a few more before I tackle that one. I want to do the koala, it's so cute. I like this uh, picture, I think she's really sweet. They're just nice pictures to colour these ones from uh, Denver Muller. You can just put some marker down and it's just fun to colour. I've got to be honest, I still haven't bothered doing any eBay. I've been so lazy with it. I'm going to have to, but it's just... I think part of the whole being down thing is stopping me from doing it. So. Well, I'll, I'll get back to it at some point. I'm not losing money, not really. So I've made profit this year. So if I do have a couple of months where I lose a bit of money, it's not the end of the world. It, 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 I can cope with it. It, it, you know. There's some people are finding that sales are down and they are down. But I mean, I still sold a few things towards the end of last month. And it was all clothing, and it's a summer dress. I mean, it's like, where are you going? Nobody can go anywhere. I think people are buying things hopeful that they will get a holiday this year. Yeah. So. Well, in fact, there's little hearts everywhere. <laughs> They're so cute. You think she, uh, she's enjoying her glass of wine, do you think? Well, looks like she's drunk pretty much a bottle, but there you go. Mm. 
I'm doing all right. I'm trying to colour in new books. I've coloured in two Jade Summer books I've not coloured in before, so that's great. That's another two. Um, obviously, this is a new book, so it's not going to go into the hoard as is uh, Fairy Touch and Magic. Obviously, Kirby Rosanna's will do because there's no way I'll be colouring in that this month because, yeah, too scary. <laughs> I will colour in it at some point, obviously, but I don't know, I might start the koala bear, it depends on how I feel I've got. I don't like to start too many big projects because obviously I've got my big project, which is the Fairy Touch of Magic on the go. So I don't really want to, to start a new one. This colour is actually called Wine Red. personally prefer white wine because I'm asthmatic and uh, red wine makes me wheeze. So, right. Oh, it's so cute. It is. Uh, sorry, I'm just singing to myself. Blinking stuff off of um, Coco man and I'll tell you what that kid will kill me with all the stuff she wants to watch. Sometimes I do say no I'm watching this and eventually she'll give up the ghost and let me watch it. But uh, not always. what to, to do with them different things because you want to make sure you get everything right and it looks nice and like with downstairs we're trying to sort out the living room so that it's all sorted for the we've got a separate area to watch TV and a separate area for Paul to work but it's it's not always easy because Paul you know, because we've got to get somebody in to do it, which means we've all got to work upstairs. The idea being is that I, at the moment I work in the bedroom, I can work downstairs as well, which means I'll be more comfortable. I, you know, I won't be on my own. But if Paul's in a meeting, he can shut the door. He plays music. I can have the television on if I want to. Sometimes I want it on in the mornings when I'm working, and sometimes I don't. It really just depends on how I'm feeling on that day. So you think she's having a nice bath? I think she might be. Okay. I will be using some glitter on this. <laughs> Obviously there's always going to be some glitter. too bright. What about this one? I'll try this one. I don't really look at the colours, I just put them on the page note for the best. It's just the way I colour. That way it's less stressful for me. Ah uh, yeah, that's a good colour for her wings. Yeah. 
give her some blue eyes. It's kind of weird with that black pupil, doesn't it? Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. I do apologise. I'm so tired and not with it that I'm just being pretty useless today. Oh, well, never mind. It's not the end of the world. So it's just a blue, a light blue. It's actually a pale aqua blue. Nice colour, actually. I like that one. Um, I'll do her pupils now. Give her some... Do those roses. Oh, use rose red. I do feel I'm going to be using a lot of red in this book and a lot of pink. I'm literally just going to straight colour these roses because they're cute. This month I've got my mum's birthday. She said she doesn't want much. She said, just get me a bottle of whiskey. I'm like, oh, okay. So whatever she wants, I'll do, because it makes her happy, and that's all that matters. As long as they're all happy, I don't really care. And I say with me, I'm like, oh, get me a colouring book, I'm happy. Or give me some money for Amazon so I can get a colouring book, or some pencils, or... That's all I care about. At the moment, I don't want clothes because I can't really go anywhere. I mean, obviously, if if it gets nicer and this the lockdowns are lifted and the pandemic calms down, then yeah, I'll ask, think, oh, I want some clothes because you know we'll be able to go on holiday and I want something nice and new. I won't put much weight. On. I haven't put, actually put any weight on in lockdown. I've actually just about stayed the same. I'm not eating as much, so. I still try and get as much walking done around the house and stuff, but obviously not as much as I'd like, but uh, just do these hearts as well, on here. Mm -hmm. She looks so comfortable in that bath, I, like, I, think, I think I want a bath now. <laughs> But uh, probably not a good idea, really. Not this time of night. No, me, I'd probably fall asleep in it and drown. watching a, a YouTube channel called Geographics which is a history channel I think I've mentioned it before history geography geology that sort of thing um, yeah so watching those at the moment really enjoy them still watching odd things here and there if I feel like it like Jack the Ripper or Titanic ancient history ghost stuff and when I've watched all the videos on the channel I usually leave it for a while so that the videos build up and then I'll have a binge watch of an evening just watching say all the slapped ham or all the lazy masquerade fascinating horror is a good one there's some great channels out there if you're into weird and wonderful stuff and i am i don't like these stupid things that just make a joke out of it and have shock people jumping out at you i'm like yeah really if i want to watch that i go watch horror film but And I've watched horror films. I've watched many a horror film. Especially when I was younger. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. 
three, four, then lock your door. Five, six, grab your crucifix. Seven, eight, better stay up late. Nine, ten, never sleep again. I used to love a nightmare on Elm Street. Bloody awesome set of oh, awesome, awesome, awesomeness. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, set of films. The first lot with Robert England as Freddy Krueger. before I was of an age where I should have been an evil dead Hellraiser no, they do, I just, I'm not interested in well I like some horror films but I don't like the gory stuff, I do like stuff with a story that's kind of spooky I like the spooky stuff I do, spooky, 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 spooky I like a bit of spook as well, isn't it? Macaroon pink. Mm. Love it. Just something really nice about just sitting and colouring, isn't there? Just sitting, relaxing and colouring and just enjoying yourself and just not thinking about what's going on in the world although we do chat about it it's just nice to just chill I know it's quite a similar colour but I wanted to put it there yeah, nice right now with the markers the only thing really left is the background and the bath and the bath yeah, I think we'll do a very nice light blue. What's this one? Is it Arctic? Arctic blue will do the background. That's going to take ages. So I might just do that off camera or I'll see how much time I've got left at the end. But I'm going to do Arctic blue. Now, the bath I'm going to do very, very pale pearl grey. So where's pearl? There it is. Is that pearl? Yeah. And then I have got a metallic white. Ooh, what's that one? Oh, that's my blue one. Um, for that, um, for certain bits of it. So I'll go over the top. So we'll start up here. So it's just very, very pale grey. In fact, I mean, it's quite a big area. So I never, ever use the chisel tip. <laughs> I always use the pointy end, the fine point. And the reason being is, I, it just sometimes, it's quite a pinky pearl colour, isn't it? I just don't like, I don't like the chisel tip. I really don't. I'm not going to worry if it goes in there because I'm going to put a metallic white over it. I think it's because I tend to, I don't do it right. I've got, I've got to go back to the other one. I cannot use it. I cannot use it. It has to be this end. So I'm afraid it takes a bit longer. It's just I just don't like that end. I know some people moan at how fast I'm colouring this, but you know I'm gonna try again now because it's gonna take forever. And as much as I like the colouring, I don't really want to colour forever, be doing this forever. I've got other things to do tonight, like sleep. And there's a channel I want to watch, which is called Marilyn Monday. I haven't watched it yet. Um, I'm going to have a look at it. 
Right, this girl says she's been having some trouble with her Instagram page being taken down. I don't know why um, I'm not getting involved, but I do like Marilyn um, YouTube channels, whether they're uh, about Marilyn or their lookalikes or they're somebody who's just a fan and they've got a collection. I've got some of my collection videos up on here and there is various Marilyn playlists if you want to have a look. So there's a Marilyn complete, there's a Marilyn collection one, there's Marilyn books you should own, and reviews and things like that. Um, eventually I might just do a Marilyn Monroe playlist but uh, that would take a long time because I'd have to go through all the videos to find all the Marilyn ones. But it'll probably happen uh, at some point this year. I think that was it, um, but I'm not worried about it. Like I said, I'm not worried about going over the white with this, because um, I will be putting some... Yeah, this pearl's quite a pink colour, actually. It's really nice. I know you're all squirming at how I'm using this chisel. Oh, I love it. God, this street's always really noisy at night and I don't know why. I mean, I'll say it's late. It's not like one o'clock in the morning, it? but it is. couple of minutes to nine so right so we get the metallic out if I can find it here it is and literally I'm just gonna go over this bit here so it'll give it a bit of a shine and um, just around here a bit in here as well and then we'll do her her glass so it's uh, shiny I'll have a little bit here there we go so it's not um like a gel pen, it is a metallic pen. Right, I now need to do... Um, put that one back. The label... of her... her bottle. With jasmine yellow, I think. So pretty much, other than the ribbons around the edge and the background, the only thing that's left to do is the sparkles. So we'll go do the ribbon next, that's that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now, what colour do we want? Let's do that. We've used rose, we've used wine, we've used tomato. I think for round the top we'll use a uh, punch pink. Okay, for round it, and then the dangly bits, we'll use ruby red. Oh my god, that is bright. That is neon. That's nice though. More orange than pink, I'd say though. It's a good colour. Turn this this way. Hope you don't mind. So yeah, it's all been, it's, it's just weird that these times, I mean, I, I said I haven't been to Newport since almost for almost a year, March last year. Literally, it was on the first day, well, of essential travel only. We had to go and pick up uh, something I'd bought from the auction, and I think it was the Cindy stuff, actually, and uh, Paul's work laptop. So we had, we had to go out that day, um, and the town was dead. It was the most bizarre thing I've seen in my entire life and then I haven't been to Newport since and, and I used to go to Newport something to eat every week nearly and for a wander around the charity shops for things to sell on you know just bits of clothing and yeah I've really missed it I, I mean I haven't I, I miss going to the shops um, wherever they go I miss going to restaurants and pubs and I don't miss driving driving to work at all. I mean, I miss my friends at work. We are managing, um, but yeah, it's, it's hard. So, 
So I probably will just do this all in one go. I'm just wondering how to do the bubbles. I have got a bit of an idea. So I'll have a look at that in a minute. I think I'll colour them the same colour as the background. And then put some glitter blue on it and some white gel pen. I'm not going to get a rainbow effect on them. I haven't got the energy to try and figure that out. But it's just a nice fun catch up and... Uh, so it's going pink, it's orange when it's wet, very orange, but it's going a lovely shade of pink when it's drying. You see, down here, it's orange there and there, but then it's, it's going this lovely pink there. That's actually a really good colour, so you can't trust these colours just by um, going by the colour that comes out. You have to wait for it to dry to see it, really. And my battery on my phone is dying, so what was I going to use? Let's just use normal red. That's a nice red, actually. And we're just going to do these, which you could have done it. I could have done it the same colour as the ribbon around the top, but I just think it'd look a bit nicer. And it, I mean, it wouldn't be so bad weather, although we don't get very bad snow, we get, do get a lot of rain where we are. <laughs> so it's not like you can go out for a nice long walk, because if you do, you're going to get drenched. And with a three-year-old, that's never a good idea. I mean, she loves going for walks into the park, and, and I don't mind going and taking her, but when it's raining, it's so difficult because she just wants to come home, which is understandable. Who wants to be out when it's raining and horrible and wet? But I just, I miss being able to go out and oh, the chisel end, I don't want that end. Have fun and, you know. I'm even just going for a walk. I mean, it, it, I don't mind, but the canal gets boring after a while. And it really does. And I love going for a walk along the canal. But Jennifer will only go one way. Occasionally she'll go the other way. Just not very often. And then she tries to go in the pub, which obviously is sadly closed. <coughs> but, uh, so I am trying to read, I have started it, The Green Mile by Stephen King. Now I've seen the film many times and I've read the book previously. So I read the first 10 or so pages, in fact I, I don't even know if it was even that many, and wanted to start crying because of course I know the story. I will read it again because I think I want, I, I think I should and I want to. But because I know the story and it's a story of sadness and justice and, and, and tragedy, it's hard to actually um, read it, knowing the tragedy behind it and that oh, it's just a sad story. Somebody I know read it last month and they were in bits. I mean it's not a scary film, it's just a, a, a scary book, it's just sad. But, uh... Oh I forgot to do the blinking of her bath with my pearl. A silly one that. Look, I forgot. Do her, her claw foot, claw foot bath. There's only one. You can only see one. <laughs> oh, I am stiff. It's because I sit on an awkward angle. As soon as Phil's done uh, downstairs, I'll probably start filming downstairs again. I just need to get myself a decent sized bag to put everything in. And I need to clear off the table. I want to because I want to do some printing. There's no point in doing it until he's finished because all the stuff ends up on there anyway. 
and I need to take down Jennifer's travel cot because she doesn't need it anymore she's too big for it and uh, high chairs are all done and dusted with she doesn't use that anymore she sits next to me she tries to fall off the chair three or four times she nearly went off a bit tonight but she's got Jennifer sit still she's terrible but she doesn't sit in the high chair she does call it my chair. She goes, I, 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 I kick my chair or I hurt myself on my chair. <laughs> and there was a time where she'd point to the cot if she wanted to lie down, but she doesn't even do that anymore. She doesn't want to go to sleep at all during the day now, which is good because it does mean that most of the time she'll sleep all night. I think she's only fallen asleep in the early evening once, about three o'clock, and that was once last week. That was the first time in a long time and then of course she don't want to go to bed but so we don't really want her to go to sleep even if it means she's driving me up the wall all afternoon <laughs> she's not really she is amazing we sit and we play we do jigsaw puzzles and play with dinosaurs and we, and we watch dinosaur programs and a bit of CBeebies if it's on she does love her dinosaurs we get them all out and we we try and pronounce the names or when I ask her what they are and if she knows them she'll say oh that's Steggy Rexy and she'll have that's Raptor for Velociraptor Spinosaur for Spinosaurus she says so Spinosaurus she knows what a lot of them are she's very clever I mean, I don't really want her to stop liking and being interested in dinosaurs. I don't want her to be influenced by other girls who want to play with dolls all the time. At the moment, even though her best friend's a girl, Quinn, it, she doesn't seem to be getting her to play with dolls much or influencing her in that way. Because Quinn's still young and she's at an age where she still wants to run around and play in the mud, which is great. I don't really want her losing her interest in things and becoming totally, totally overwhelmed and totally obsessed with dolls or and you know Barbie dolls. I don't mind her wanting them and having them. I don't want her to become obsessed because it's nice to see her interested in something, you know, different. You know, it's interesting and she loves them at the moment. I hope that never ends. I mean, if it does, does then we deal with it and we'll. Uh, move on to Barbie but I mean I had Barbie dolls I had Cindy dolls I had dolls I had prams but excuse me I just got to shut the door because it's in the way I also played in the mud probably having two brothers helped <laughs> but I did I'd play happily on my own at the bottom of the garden with a pile of mud and a bowl of water making mud pies playing with worms and all that stuff Um, it's nice to see her get excited about dinosaurs and you know she, she goes she likes Peppa Pig and then she'll go no Peppa Pig don't like Peppa Pig and she does but what it means is she's, she doesn't want to watch it anymore she wants a mouse on it I was like what do you want to watch? Like, watch dinosaurs okay let's find some dinosaurs this is the child who sat through Jurassic Park first time without any fuss Second time she got scared, <laughs> which is a bit odd, but there you go. Sorry, I'm just trying to get comfortable on the floor. Oh dear me. I said this background is going to take a little while, but we'll do what we can. And then we'll do the, the sparkly bits. They're always fun, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yes, it's a nice blue. So I'm thinking if we get a bonus from work, because they're hoping, they have said they're hoping to be able to give us a bonus this year, which is great because, uh, you know, we'll be in the pandemic and everything else. They're hoping that because we've adjusted and we've worked well and we've kept it going, we've supported our clients correctly, and we've obtained new clients, they're hoping to be able to give everybody a bonus, which would be nice. I'm thinking I might get the Ohuhu markers with it. I haven't decided yet. I'll probably save a bit of it and then I'll put uh, 
is some, yeah, because I mean these aren't going to last forever as much as I love them. Um, but I, I like trying the different products. I mean I would love to be able to get something like Copics, but I don't want to deal with the expense. As good as they are, I'm not that good. I'd rather just get something like a Hoo Hoo's, and I know people really like their Hoo Hoo's. So, I mean, if I was a decent artist and I could draw and, you know, I was good at it, then yeah, I probably would get Copix, but because I'd be possibly trying to sell my work, but I'm not. I just do it for fun. Yes, I get better when I want, to, when I practice and do it properly, like I am with the Fairy Touch of Magic. It's not brilliant, but it's better than I would have done with that book two or three years ago had it been out and I had it. But I still get intimidated by things like Kirby Rosanis and Bennett Klein. I got one of Bennett's books and it really, really freaks me out. It's intimidating. Eventually, it hopefully it won't be. Do you feel like that sometimes that there are, are colouring books that you've got that you're afraid to touch because you don't think you're good enough to colour in them and you'll wreck the picture? Because I do. I was like that with uh, Nick Philbert's Serene. Now I've coloured in one and I've started another one. It's on my whips list. Um, and I was terrified of colouring in that one. I just thought, well, I'll pick this one. This is one of the simpler ones. I'm just going to do this one. And I did it and it was fine. I thought, right, now I'm going to do this particular one, which is the one I really love in it. Um, and I'm going to take my time and I'm going to try and get it to look the way I want it to. And at the moment it's looking quite good. But I do need to oh, do some more in it. Preferably soon. I don't, I'm not one of those people who can have seven or eight whips or a hundred whips around. I can't bear having too many whips. I mean, like I said, I've started including this one, which I'm hopefully going to finish tonight. I've got three new ones on the go that I've started this month. This one, one in a Jade Summer pattern, but which is nearly finished, and one in and the one in Fairy Touch of Magic. So on top of that, I've also got whips of things I started for uh, first impressions videos, or I started colouring a picture that I wanted to do and never finished it, uh, and so on. And they're all in. A great big pile. Some of the whips have been around for, I'll admit, a few years. Some for only a month or two. But I, at one point I do want to end up with no whips. Just work in progress books, which means I've coloured pictures in them but I haven't finished them. <laughs> well, I love the tag and I've enjoyed watching some of the videos. Ten books to finish in 2021. And I'm like, yeah, that's never going to happen for me. I'd be lucky if I finish one book in 2021. Not because I don't colour much, just because I've got so many books. And if I did finish one book, it would be a pattern. And I think it would probably be um, Easy Mandala's a Creative Haven one. I've got, I think it's Creative Haven. It might not be. I've got, I've got a book of Easy Mandala's and I've coloured in that one quite a bit. But even then, I still don't think I'd finish it this year. Oh, what do you do with a finished book? Do you keep it? Do you throw it away? Do you cut the pages out? Where, where do you put your finished books? Do you put them in a box out of the way? Do you leave them on the shelf? That's something I'm going to have to, that, that will happen at some point because I will eventually finish a book. And like I said, it more than likely will be a pattern book. So some of the 100 Jade Summer books I've done a few in. Not, not tons, I'm not talking 30 or 40, but I may have done like 14 or 15. So yeah, it is, it's interesting to, I, I love to see, and I hope that these people who have said, I want to finish this book by the end of the year, on their 10 to finish, I hope they do it, because it'd be nice to see them achieve that. I mean, I know some of them are like, and don't get me wrong, I love my Jason Carbine numbers, but 
I prefer to be able to choose colours myself because I think it's more creative. I know some people say they like having that choice taken away from them because it's more relaxing, and yes, it can be, and that's why I've got those shades on ones. But some people do so many colour by numbers, and to me that's not... It's colouring, but it's easy colouring, do you know what I mean? It's hard to explain it, and you see these people who do nothing but colour by numbers, and I'm like, well, yeah, but you've bought this book, this book, and this book, when are we going to see something from them? I still love seeing what they've done and it's like dots and spirals and things like that I don't they, it's not for me let me just put it that way and respect to anybody who enjoys it because I, it does my eyesight in that like I gotta be honest I mean I prefer if I'm gonna color I prefer block I would prefer block method color in I know some people like dots some people like the x method I think the x method just looks very faint on the background I can see why people like it because it is interesting it is an interesting look um, so I do get that, I do understand that, though, so. but it, each their own, we all got up in this hobby for whatever reason and there's no, nobody has to justify why they do something or don't do something, so I don't do it, I might do a few here and there every now and again, it might be something I really get into as I get older, who knows, I used to love colour by number when I was a kid, and paint by number, you know, I love, used to love all that stuff. Well, that's why I do love the Jade Summer uh, Colour by Number books. I've got, is it three or four of them? Every one they've put out, I've got. So, I mean, I might even get it out this month and have a go. So I haven't done it for a while. And that would really, really be nice too, because I'd love to do a few more in there. Because like I say, it does make it easier, especially if you're feeling a bit, ugh, and you haven't got the energy to do something yourself. And you think, I can't be bothered to figure out the colours. And it says, oh, this one's a dark red, or this one's a light red, or this one's an orange. Or I think that's, if they're great from that point of view, they do stop you having to think about colours. Well, I don't think about colours. I just think, well, I'm going to use this one. Sometimes, I mean, what I'll do is, if I'm not sure, I'll, I'll get a piece of paper and I'll scribble on it, wait for the, it to dry if it's a pen. I'll see what it is if it's a pencil. And if I think, yeah, that's the colour I want, that's the colour I go with. You're going to unsubscribe now because I am a heathen. <laughs> I am a colouring heathen. I'm going to colour over these bubbles because I'm going to put some white gel pen on it and some glitter. But So I'm not going to go mad, but we will try it. We will put some other bits on it. So I'm just going to go over it like that for now. And I'm going to swap ends for a minute. Just to try and speed this up a bit because it's taking forever. <laughs> it's quite funny actually. It's a lovely picture and I do love this book. I think this book's fantastic and I it's something I might even pull out later on in the month and do another one in on my own when I'm having a night off because I mean you'll notice this is we're on the, the fourth I'm filming this on the fourth you're seeing this on the fifth of February and it's the first first colour and chat of the month and it's just because I've been feeling a bit down and tired and I've just been going to bed and um, today I said right I'm gonna do it I want to colour in this new book let's get on I mean I haven't even done a, a flip through of fairy touch of magic because I just coloured in it straight away I can still do one if you want but I have coloured in it because I had to I needed to colour in that one I've been waiting for it I, I opened it up it was beautiful I love those hardback books and I thought right that's it polychromos coming out and those are the pencils I'm using in it they're all downstairs because I've been colouring in it downstairs so I've certainly got plenty of pencils let's be honest Not worrying about that because that's going to have gel pen over it. So, this one is going to be a good hour long, if not a bit longer. I hope you don't mind. I know some of you guys like the longer videos. You can always turn it off and come back to it later. Although, I tend to find if I don't watch it in one go, I might not remember to because I've got so many subs. Um, that's why I like to keep them to 30 40 minutes. But, this is such a nice one and I don't want to have to break it into two because it means the next one would be really short. So. Yeah. 
and I don't really want to make the next one really short. I want next time I might probably pick something with pencils. I've got an idea of what I might do unless somebody wants me to colour in a particular book that I've posted recently. Of course let me know what book you want to see me colour in. Somebody's asked me to do another Doctor Who one which I will but I won't do it straight away and I might use the other book because I've got two. I'm thinking of getting the Chibi Harry Potters if I can because they look so cute. I did not even know they were a thing and I'll admit I am not the biggest Harry Potter fan. Don't get me wrong I love the books and I've read the books several times. Um, and I do enjoy the books and if the films are on I will happily sit through them but I'm not somebody who's got to collect everything and, and see everything and get all the books I don't have a single Harry Potter book in my collection however I do have a Star Wars one but um, the chibi Harry Potter I really like so I'm gonna have to have a look for that and if I can get it I might get there's a couple of them I might get one of them because that's my kind of thing <laughs> yeah. Like I said, if it goes over these uh, hearts, it doesn't matter much because, like I said, I will be going over that with gel anyway, glitter gel anyway. And the same with the stars and the moon and the bubbles. So that's why I've gone over the bubbles. I'm trying not to go too far over it, but if I do, it doesn't really matter. Oops, <laughs> we're getting guys in America a lot of places are open I mean I'm watching videos by uh, Max Stevens who's I buy old records and he's in Texas he lives in Texas and he just seems I mean he, obviously he's wearing a mask and uh, sanitizing but everywhere seems to be open and it's really weird to see that because over here everything's closed other than your food shops and your essential outlets you know you, you couldn't go into a, a charity or thrift uh, thrift shop as you call them over there and um, have a look through a load of records. They're all closed, they're non-essential retailers to the point that you cannot go into a supermarket and buy toys, they won't let you, which is ridiculous when the kids are at home all day. Yes, they are doing online learning, but they're stuck in the house. They can't go very far because of the weather. The weather's terrible and you can't buy toys and games for them. Kids still have birthdays. You can still buy birthday cards and you can still buy birthday cakes, but you can't buy them presents. And it is, I can, I sort of get it because it's to try and help the smaller independent retailers that aren't allowed to open and stop the supermarkets from taking control. But birthdays for children don't stop happening and all that's happening is that they'll give their money to Amazon or order stuff online, you know, um, which isn't going to help the high street. And the problem is when they reopen it, people go stupid. Not me, I won't even go near the high street for a few days. Right, my battery's died, so I'm going to change it before we carry on. Okay, I've changed the battery. Let's crack on. We've only got a little bit now of this background, and then we're on to the glitter. Did I see my white one? There it is. Right. Just getting all my uh, gel pens ready as well at the same time, so that we're good to go as soon as... We finish this bit because we're on 54 55 minutes now so it's going to be over an hour so I do apologize for that I know some of you don't mind so ha, good thank you I'm quite happy yeah it looks all right so yeah let me know what you want me to come next if there's anything you've seen recently or even previously yeah all the books I've coloured in before I've still got. I've not completed one. There are still pages available in every single book, so let me know. And I can crack on with that for you. That's not going to be a problem at all. You know, like I know I've, I will do another Doctor Who one. I'll do one in the other books. I've got two Doctor Who books. And, um, yeah. I shall uh, have a look at them 
and decide what picture they want to do next. And uh, we'll have another Doctor Who at some point. But I don't want to do all the same sorts of uh, pictures and artists. I know I do a lot of Deborah Muller because they're just so nice and quick to do and you want to have a nice chat without having to worry too much about what it looks like. Although I am liking this. Right, so glitter. We'll start at the bottom. We'll start with her bow. So I'll zoom back in. And I'm literally just going to use a brown, a bottle of brown glitter gel for that. No. I'm literally just going to put this all the way around it, apart from on the two bits on there and on here and the string obviously and put that on there it would not be one of my pictures if it didn't have some glitter on it. I mean, okay, Doctor Who didn't. There was no glitter in on Doctor Who, <laughs> I'll admit. But on something like this, you've got to have some glitter, love. You have got to have a bit of glitter. Now I'm using my jelly rolls, okay, because I think they look nice. So I'm going to put a bit of glitter on these roses, just a little bit on each petal just to give it a bit of sparkle am I glad it's the weekend though soon I'll be honest I haven't got a week off till the end of June beginning of July when it's my birthday oh pink, pink. Um, so that's a long way off in my opinion Hold on the uh, Did I put a bit of glitter on them. doing this because it's nearly Valentine's Day <clears throat> I don't really go about it for Valentine's Day I've got to be honest me and Paul start going out two days after so to us that's kind of more important so yeah we don't really, we do get cards and stuff, but. Here's the red, there it is. Hearts time. Zoom out a bit. I'm do these ones here for now. I'll just stop at the bottom because I'm left-handed would be a good idea. Hearts. 
because they were meant to be broken. It's all songs on here tonight, you know. So there's a song called Hearts by Huey Lewis on the News on their very first album, which is self-titled. So it's literally just called Huey Lewis and the News. Been a huge fan of them since the 80s, seeing them in concert twice, got all the albums, either on vinyl or CD, or a bit of both. Yeah, some of them I got on both vinyl and CD. Love the Huey. Do you have to excuse me? Singing some 80s pet shop boys, whoops, that heart's bleeding. This is so nice. I just really enjoyed doing this tonight with you guys. It's been really nice, nice little catch up. You have to let me know what you've been up to, what you're colouring in and what you're using. Have you got any nice new supplies? I'm always interested in your supplies. I covet your supplies. And I covered your colouring books. So let me know what you've got recently. Obviously, if you have a haul video or anything like that up, just let me know. Say, hey, I've got a channel. I've got a haul up from January. I've got some coloured pages from January. And I'll go and have a look at it. And I will leave you a comment as well. I don't normally always leave comments because I'm usually watching them on my TV. Uh, not on my computer or my phone. But uh, I'll try and make a point of leaving a comment if I watch your video. So you know I've been. Sometimes I put the headphones on in bed and watch on the phone, but I prefer to watch it on the big TV. There, a nice red heart. What do you think? Nice sparkles. Oh, my sparkly star. Okay, that's not really how it goes, but hey, it does now. What am I looking for? Right, there's that one. Right, let's do those two gold stars up here then. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where's that gone? And it's like, oh, right, it's here. Oh, this is the Secure Jelly Roll Gold Metallic. I really like. I am using the Securas when I'm doing bits on books like this. Don't really do whole patterns with them because they are expensive. But you know. Hey ho. Yeah, I've got a bit of a song on tonight, and I? I keep singing. <laughs> I do apologise. I don't mean to scare you away with my vocals. I could go, stars shining bright above you. I can't remember the rest now. They seem to whisper, I love you. Bird singing in a little tree, a dream, a little dream of me. There we go. Woohoo! Now we just got the moon and the bubbles. Let's do that moon. Where's our silver one? I have a silver metallic somewhere. Where have I put it? Uh oh, that one I want as well. Just a sec, I'll be back in a minute. Right, I found what I was looking for. Like the remote to my um, Kindle Fire, it decided to go and hide in the Arteza bag, the other blend bag. Everything hides in that bag, you know. It's ridiculous, it, it all hides in there. It's just the bubbles now after this and I'll show you what I'm going to do with them.
I do like the Securas, but I, like I said, I don't use the luminous ones, the fluorescent colours. Um, I think they're called Moonlight, are they? Um, and I'm not likely to, so I don't think I'd buy the 24 pack again. I'd only buy the, the ones I actually wanted. But yeah, so that's the moon. And now it's time for the bubbles. Sure. Yeah, there. I've got three pens here. I've got a silver, a white, and a blue. So where I've got these little white ones, I am going to put that. This is the luminous one. Is it called luminous? It's moonlight, is it called? It's just, it's just white, I think. It doesn't say. Oh. Anyway, so what, where they got there, we're just going to put those in these little holes. Where it's just a... So. That one's still white. I don't know why that one's white, but it is. I'll probably get the blue out in a minute and redo that. That's that. Let me just get that blue out so I can colour it. That one. Now, what was it? It was Arctic, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Not sure why this one wasn't coloured, but there we go. We'll just go around the, the jelly roll, which was there. That'll do. Yep, yeah, that'll do. And then, that's not going back in, is it? No. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Right. So we're just going to put a bit on the silver here. A bit there. So pretty much on the ones. And then put my hands in jelly roll, which is never nice. Sticky. And that, 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 that one's done, yep. I'll put a bit more on that one. Okay. And then with the blue one. All I'm going to do is just go around the edge like that. There we are. Let's give it a little bit of a, a bit of a shiny, glittery feel. I do like my jelly rolls. They are one of my favourite sets of pens, which is why I only use them for little bits in books like this. And if I'm doing a pattern, I use the cheaper. Um, bulk pens I buy or the um, what they call the link shines or just the cheaper ones I don't get me wrong I love using glitter I'd use glitter every day you can never have enough glitter I missed a bit there as well I'll do that afterwards and then when we finish it off it'll look all pretty at least I hope so you can't see what I'm doing again I have gone off the screen. I do apologise. It is quite hard to see actually on this setup. It'll be easier when I'm back downstairs filming. Um, the only thing is, then of course, I have to carry everything up and down. So, like I said, I need a good, strong. I will probably use a um, shopping bag. Why well, haven't done the hearts on? Oh, there's so many bits I've missed. I'll have to finish them off in a minute. You just notice every now and again that you've missed a bit. But that's what tidying up at the end is for, which is what we're doing now. That's all the bubbles. So we're going to need this blue again, because I have missed a little bit. It's just here, look. There and there. Get back in here, get the oh. gold, red. Is that red or is that pink? That's red. So we'll use the gold one for the star here on her and rather than using the metallic, this is the jelly roll glitter gold. And we'll do this here. I think just for her. A glass. Tidy that up a bit like that. There we go. And finished. So let's have a look at what we've done today. So this is our finished Cupid Cutie. 
by Deborah Muller. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below on what you think. Let me know what you've been colouring in as well. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe because I do appreciate each and every one of you, especially when you keep coming back to have a chat with me and um, let me know what you're up to. And uh, yeah, and I will see you in the next video and I promise it won't be as long. So bye everybody. Bye.